we visited the shores of Strangford Lock, where Seamus McMullen has installed a wind turbine to power his farm. I decided to install the wind turbine because being a farmer here, I am interested in what happens to the environment and also the electricity is continuing to rise and uh, I thought the wind turbine would reduce my bills and as I have a farmyard down the road there, it, it, the power is also down to, down to the farm for us. we're using cameras there for cows calving. To put up a wind turbine, you start off putting the concrete on site. Now we used a, a forklift here and uh, it was fairly straightforward. A wee bit of help by leveling the base. And as regards putting the cable down, the, there's 160 metres of cable, putting it down the field there with our own digger. We put the cable down approximately 18 inches into the ground. The base itself is 10 feet by 10 feet by 1.4 metres deep. That would be plenty to hold it. We didn't find it too much trouble at all to build the turbine. If someone was going to put up a wind turbine, I would advise them to pick a good site for it. Make sure your site has got a bit of wind and I wouldn't put it too close to the house because sometimes and when it's gusty, they can be a bit of noise off the blades, but not a big problem, but I would keep it back off the house. I have it in now approximately six months. There's probably 7,000 kilowatt hours on it, and I am running the, the house here, the farmhouse and the farmyard with electricity, and I can definitely see uh, a big reduction in the bill and, and the way that turbine is going here probably there will be no electricity bill here at all. I am not really interested in the payback time of the turbine whilst I think it won't be too long till it is paid but I wanted to, to do maybe a bit for the environment. This farm is harvesting wind energy which, along with land management and animal husbandry, is part of an integrated approach to caring for the environment.